to actually survive on Social Security at 66 years old, it is really just a shame that it has to be this way. And if it wasn't for, if it was not for the White Pony, if it was not for these programs, seriously, I truly believe in my soul that I would be in even worse shape. Now, when you're a grown man, I can go back into the regular world business, that's fine. But the reality of waking up and realizing I've got to survive off Social Security only. I'm blessed to live in a building that's a HUD building, of course. But when you pay out all your legal bills and so forth, you realize that if it wasn't for programs like White Pony, very blunt with you, um, it'd really be very embarrassing. Yeah. So what you've got now is um, these are lifesaver programs. During COVID, we had this wonderful program where we had uh, fresh fruits and vegetables coming, which was amazing. Um, they had platanos, they had mangoes, they had you name it, they had everything. And it was the, and it was fresh, fresh. It wasn't like, you know, where you have to wait. It was brand new and it was beautiful. So I find that um, these social programs are literal life savers. That's not said in jest, that's not said for dramatic at all. It's made reality. If it wasn't for these programs, you would have some people who could not survive. Um, it, this to me is life-saving. This to me is imperative. Our seniors are very important. I've been around seniors for many, many years of my life taking care of them. I've seen them come and go. And now that I'm in a situation of being a senior legitimately, it's not for the weak. So anyway, uh, my full name is Juan Antonio Angulo, um, Tony A. Angelo. <laughs> um, and uh, that's my testimony, and I thank you much for your time. My name is Yolanda Waters. Okay, and how long have you been coming here to get the food? About two and a half years. Okay, mm -hmm. and how has that helped you out? A, a lot, it's, 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 it's a blessing for me, you know, to have the food every Tuesday. And the White Pony, when they had, I think they had some clothes in the one time, earrings and makeup, that was agreeable. So it's, it's really wonderful that they, you know, they do that for the seniors here. I'll get the ground turkey, vegetables, some bread, a little thing of some sweet. And that's it. You know, the day, you know, it's, it's a blessing you know, to have them come every Tuesday and the people bring the food and nice and we talk and it's just really nice and helpful because, you know, close to the end of the month or beginning of the month, you know, some things, bread or vegetables, you know, you can, you can get it there and you'll have it. My name is Jill Niles and I live at the Rodeo Gateway Senior Apartments. And how long have you been receiving food here from the White Pony? I guess about two or three years. I'm not exactly sure the dates, but I've only been here for five years, so it's been a good portion of the time I've been here. And can you talk a little bit about the food that you receive here? Well, I, I think what's good, first of all, is it happens once a week, and it supplements everything that we have in our refrigerator. You know, we never know what we're going to get. But I think what's interesting is we get the high-end stores, is where the donations come from and they're things that would be way too expensive for us to buy on our own but we get them here and not only that the, their stores that sell very healthy food so we're getting very healthy organic and, and you know grown, grown wisely food and I've actually seen members that live here get healthier because I know that they don't have much money for food you know none of us do but some of them have a lot less than me, and I have actually seen them over the last two years regain their health. It's very encouraging. Well, I think, you know, the people are very friendly. I think what, what they're doing is a fantastic thing. There's a big need. I think that um, we just need more organizations like this. We need more people working in organizations like this. Because really, the food anxiety among people, I think, is prevalent today because among everybody, because food is expensive. And when you're on a fixed income, like we are, you only have a certain amount to spend. And it's better to, to, to have food that comes in to help you that's healthy and that fills out your, your food budget with things that are going to make you healthier. Because people just sometimes buy the cheapest thing, you know, and this gives us a good alternative, you know, to be healthy. For me, it's the fruits and vegetables. It's, it's not the prepared food so much as the fresh fruits and vegetables because 
that's something I can't get to the store to get and it doesn't last. So at the end of a week, if I have someone do my grocery shopping for me and I get a lot of fruits and vegetables, they're gone. But every week I get some fruits and vegetables to supplement my, my diet, which I think is excellent for me. And then there's the other odds and end things too, the, the milk and the eggs and the bread and all that. But for me, it's the fruits and vegetables. Great, thank you so much.